um, this tutorial, sorry for my voice, I'm with a little bit of flu. Um, in this tutorial, uh, we'll explain very briefly how to cut uh, some elements on a landscape, uh, avoiding masks. Uh, so, the idea is to create a simple effect as this one. How to cut, in this case, organic shapes like trees. Okay, so, basically, we have this image here. Uh, I downloaded from web, from uh, Made Painting Arc. And we want to cut this tree. So, instead of doing something like this, that is look terrible, <laughs> we're gonna cut it um, in the, the most easier, fast way, and probably the most perfect. So, the idea is to use Photoshop, open uh, that image, and let's cut this without using masks so if i create a layer the idea is to use the concept of mat the compositing mat which is uh, for instance if you have an image this is a little bit big sorry i'm gonna put here i'm gonna rescale it down just to keep it more easier to see. So the idea is if you have a black and white image, it's gonna be used as an alpha channel. So in After Effects or in other softwares, you can combine it like Nuke or others among the others. So to combine these two uh, images, you just need to put, in this case, in After Effects, one on top of the other. So, if you tell After Effects as the black and white image, you want to use it as a mask, so you just have to come here to Track Matte and say it Luminance, Luma Matte, Black Transparent, White Opaque, or Inverted. And if it's inverted, the white is uh, opa uh, transparent and black opaque so the correct way luma matte so but of course you have to have these two image totally synchronized so simple as that you just need to have this mask and to get this mask in this case to get this tree you just need it to paint it so you create a new layer you want to paint it in white because the tree is going to be opaque and when you start with brushes normally you have this kind of brushes but of course I think you already know that you can load it uh, from here um, new libraries uh, of brushes and Photoshop offers the natural brushes and natural brushes, for instance, let's use this, let's try this. Okay, so could be good enough to cut this tree, but I don't like these continuous lines, so I have to find adjust the brush. So here you have this thing, uh, this icon to select the brush, and here you can. Um, optimize a little bit this brush so I gonna activate shape dynamics uh, scattering to put it a little bit more random yes and probably more spacing yeah so let's try something as that a little bit of too much dust but I think it will work so simple as that now that we have a brush you just need it to paint it like this and you are creating the mask try to leave some holes 
because the three is not this three is not totally opaque. I'm doing this really, really, really fast just to give you an idea. And now I create a new layer. I switch here to black and with the fill mode I'm gonna paint it in black, everything is black but now I'm gonna switch the order of the layers and now I have this image. So this is my mask. It's totally painted as this one as you see it not very nice, not very clear but it's gonna be uh, good enough. Let's try it. Let's save it I'm gonna save it in JPEG as a raise. Okay, now let's load it here. Import file, erase. And now what I have? I have this layer. I'm gonna double. On bottom layer, I'm gonna change color just to to understand what we're gonna do. I have the bottom layer with the tint to be black and white. Now on the top layer, the color run, I'm gonna select the erase and I'm gonna bring it here, bring it down. So this is my mask to this layer that I'm gonna rename it to tree. So track mat should be not alpha, because this image is, uh, is doesn't have an alpha channel, is the luminous mat. So, and voila, it's done. But as I already showed it to you before, I cannot move the layers separately. Uh, otherwise, you're gonna have this error. So, you can link, but the most useful is probably to, to nesting these layers to group it. So I'm gonna create a precompose. I'm gonna call it tree. And now it's just one layer. And as you notice the result result is not so bad at all. And it was just painted in seconds. So I think this is a really really nice tip for cutting objects and to create compositions as you see it before because in organic objects, hair, etc. Et stuff like that it works very well. Even if this is a video, if you don't have too much wind, this works very well. Okay, so this is the first part of the tutorial. Hope you had enjoyed it. Uh